I'm a really big proponent of the biggest part of what you do is who you are. Look around. See your uncle who's boisterous. See your cousin who's shy. See your uh, in-laws who are a little vulnerable and, and older. You can find a world of characters within your world. They're people you know. You already understand them. So it's easy to add them to your list, but by all means, start making a list. Start with one and add to it. Don't say, I'll get around to it. Do it, because it'll just evaporate if you don't. Or it could be a hundred character voices, or it could be three, or it could... Don't let anyone tell you how many voices you must have in order to work in the industry. Just be the best you can be, and you'll find out if there's a place for that. I have a lot of things that I do for myself just to stay sort of ready, animated. There's, there's, a, there's a novel word. Uh, it's been very good to me, but uh, it applies to on-camera world. It applies to the on-stage world. Um, people seek animated characters. Even if the character is neutral and close to yourself, you still need to find a way to enhance it, animate it, to be memorable. I like that word. Believe that there are equal parts to maintaining and sustaining character. You have to understand it. And when uh, occasionally in convention we're asked about uh, differentiating between parts. A lot of times if you're a multi-voice actor, and many of us are multi-voice or have the potential to be multi-voice if we stretch and figure out uh, what else might be on the canvas. Um, if you're doing your homework, if you're doing your work, if you're doing your preparation, you'll never mistake one character for another because they'll all be three-dimensional. They'll all be fully fulfilled. They'll all be in the moment, even if the moment changes. They'll all be able to follow different story arcs if the story changes, if you're lucky enough to have a series role. Um, directors are, are very often uh, pressed to and desire to cast from within when there's peripheral roles. So you have to bring that versatility when you show up, not only to audition, but also to sessions, because one thing may lead to another. Everything I do in class is essentially rehearsal techniques. You don't need to focus on exercises that we'll do in order to employ what you learn by doing them.